I can start by saying that the evidence thus far is mixed. So there are some studies that have some methodologic flaws that have shown a benefit. There's other studies um, that have not shown a benefit. Some of the more rigorous studies, one that was in JAMA um, not long ago, showed no benefit of ivermectin. But there's uncertainty, let me put it that way. And when there's uncertainty, I think it's best not to rush in. We, we learned from hydroxychloroquine last year that there are potential harms to, to giving drugs. Now, both ivermectin and hydroxychloroquine have relatively few harms, but if there's not a benefit, then you're exposing people to a drug, giving them potentially false hope. And, and you may not, and in the case of hydroxychloroquine, you're not benefiting them. In the case of ivermectin, we don't know that there's a benefit. It's just too unsettled. It's just too uncertain. One lesson I do want to drop from my past is from the HIV world. Back in the 1980s and 90s, we gave a lot of drugs with a lot of unclear um, uh, value. And it was only once trials came to in, into place that we were able to distinguish a drug that did work from one that didn't work. And I would say the lesson from HIV is you can potentially do harm if you don't subject something to a trial because you um, don't make progress, you essentially don't know if something is or isn't working. Once trials became available for HIV, we made steady progress, it took years. Now with COVID-19, we'll make progress over weeks to months because it's a much more fast paced disease that lasts for weeks, not years. And so if we can do those trials, we will know in a short order whether ivermectin does or doesn't work, but I wouldn't use it uh, until I had some data behind it. That was our, our lesson from last year.